Today's Mass Readings August 6, 2019 Tuesday The Transfiguration of the Lord First Reading Daniel chapter 7 verse 9 to 10 and 13 to 14 Daniel sees the Ancient One giving power to the Son of Man As I watched Thrones were set in place and an ancient one took his throne. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and flowed out from his presence. A thousand thousand served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood attending him. The court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. As I watched in the night visions, I saw one like a human being coming with the clouds of heaven. And he came to the Ancient One and was presented before him. To him was given dominion and glory and kingship, that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away. And his kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. Responsorial Psalm Psalms Chapter 97 Response The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Response The Lord is King. The Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord. Before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice. All people see His glory. Response The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. For you indeed are the Lord, Most High over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. Response The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. Second reading 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 16 to 19 The second coming of Christ is a deep truth for his disciples. We did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that voice was conveyed to him by the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard voice come from heaven, while we're him on the holy mountain. So have prophetic message more fully confirmed. He will do to be attentive as a lamp shining in dark place until day dawns and morning star rises your hearts gospel reading luke chapter 9 verse 28 to 36 moses and elijah talk with jesus on the radiant mountain top jesus took with him peter and john and james and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly they saw two men, Moses and Elijah, talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking of his departure, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighed down with sleep. But since they had stayed awake, they saw his glory in the two men who stood with him. Just as they were leaving him, 
Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were terrified as they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. And they kept silent and in those days told nobody any of the things they had seen.